Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is Kay Bella Beauty. And if you're wondering why my face is not done, that's because we are going to do a little bit of an experimental makeup look together today. So I did just receive my Tiny Marvels palette in the mail. This is the Sydney Grace collab with Mel Thompson. I think I got this during the week, like maybe Thursday or Friday, but if you're new to my channel, I am a teacher, and so this was actually our first week back to work, so I didn't actually snag this out of the mailbox until today. I'm filming on a Saturday. I always film on the weekends, so I finally got this in the mail. I'm able to play with it, and I wanted to get into it today. I wanted to dig into it today. This is what the palette looks like right here. I will insert some clips of me showing you this beautiful palette, but I'm excited to dig in, y'all. I am excited to dig into this palette. The shades in here look beautiful. I am typically not a colors gal, but uh, I thought that maybe this could be an introduction into the world of color for me. I do have to say, I was very surprised at the size of the eyeshadows in this palette. I, I guess maybe just from pictures or from thinking about other palettes that I have in my collection, I wasn't expecting them to be so large. They're even larger than the Violet Boss eyeshadow pans. So I'm really excited to dig into it. It looks even more beautiful in person. I have not swatched it or anything yet. It is completely untouched, but we are going to change that today. Now, like I mentioned, I don't typically wear color on my channel or in general in life. I just, I like to stick to what I'm comfortable with. I'm one of those people that's always wearing like neutral eyeshadow. But I have seen Mel Thompson create some absolutely beautiful looks with this. And I think she's a great teacher in general. She does a really great job explaining the makeup that she's doing. And so I thought, you know what? I am going to recreate one of her looks. That will be my first, my introduction into this palette. We'll be recreating one of her looks. I was going back and forth between the green look that she created um, in her initial video where she was talking about her collab, but then she also uploaded another video after that, and I'll insert a picture of the video that we are going to be watching together, but she created this other look that has like a little bit of lavender and that beautiful duochrome shade. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. We are going to follow Mel's tutorial. I'm gonna see if I can make it look half as good as hers. And you may hear a little bit of her video in the background because I'm gonna have it up on my phone. And I'm literally going to be step by step trying to complete this eyeshadow look with you. So it should be interesting. Let's go ahead, zoom in and get started. Okay. Now that we are up close and personal, let's see if I can make some magic happen. And Mel, thank you for the beautiful mirror in this palette because I'm gonna take the plastic off, which makes me a little nervous. I normally leave the plastic on these for so long, but I'm gonna take the plastic off and we're gonna use this mirror to help me hopefully recreate Mel's look. Let me pull up her video on my phone. And like I said, you may hear her in the background, but I like I'm literally, going to try and follow this step by step and see what we can do. Yes. Refer number one in the shade Jewel B. Okay. I am applying this into the crease. Jewel first. B in the crease. We are working it up. Okay. So she said she's going to go in with Jewel B in the crease. Now I don't have my eyelids primed. I typically do, but I was too excited to play with it that I just forgot. Um, but I have a little bit of concealer from when I did my brows, but she said she took Jewel B and she's going to put it in the crease. Oh, this is a beautiful pastel purple shade. For sure. Okay, good. So it's nice and pigmented. When I dipped into it, I didn't find that there was a ton of kickback. There's a little bit of kickback in there, but I don't mind that. But there's not a ton of kickback. But ooh, this is a beautiful pastel purple shade. If you're like me and you're a little bit intimidated by color, this purple's not scary at all. I would say that it even is a touch lighter than it looks in the pan, which for someone like me, I need it to be to be light and workable. Okay. 
Okay, so I used a really fluffy brush to apply that, and it's like a light wash of color. I need to see how much pigmentation she did. Hers, I feel like, looks darker than mine. Let's see. Might need to use a different brush. Yeah, she definitely has more pigment than I do. So before she moves on, I was using a super fluffy brush, the Sigma Taper Blending E40. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Y19, which is a little bit more tapered and dense, and I'm still going in with Julby. I just wanna try and build up the color a little more because hers looks more built up. And if you are newer to makeup, just know that blending takes time. I know sometimes like as a YouTuber I cut out a ton of the blending because I feel like people don't want to sit there and watch me blend my eyeshadow for like 10 minutes, but blending takes a while if you really want it to look good. So I'm just going to add a little bit more pigment with this more dense brush and then I'll go back in with my Sigma, my fluffier one and just make sure it's blown out a little bit more and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, we have some purple in the crease. Let's see what she tells us to do next. Same shade on a so oh, same cursor, shade and I am just buffing this on the bottom all along the lower lash line. Okay. So she said, same shade, lower lash line. I am going to use, what is this brush? This is the 282 Eye Fluff. No clue who it's by because it doesn't say. Or should I use this one? This one feels more dense. I'm just torn between two brushes here. Hmm. Moda, maybe? Maybe let's go with the Moda Pro. 420 and that Jewel B shade and she said put that along the lower lash line. So what is what we will do. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Alright. We got that on the lower lash line. What next, Mel? What do we do next? Number one, the shade Love Bug. Okay. I'm going to deepen up. The deepen crease. the crease with Love Bug. Okay, so she is going into Love Bug to deepen up the crease. So I'm going to take my Morphe Y19 and dip into Love Bug and focus this more in the crease. This is a pretty shade too. Oh, this will help me deepen it out because that purple is very pastel which I love, it's super wearable. This Love Bug shade, it's almost like a little bit more pink. And what I would say is a little bit more wearable, like someone like me who's afraid of color, I think I would look at Love Bug and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna use that because it's much more of like a mauve shade, but it's super pretty and that is gonna help to deepen up the crease and then I'll just go in with my Sigma brush after and blend it out a little bit more. Again, same shade, Tom Ford number 12. Just going right up against the lower lash line, stamping it. Okay, so she took the same shade, Love Bug, and she had a Tom Ford brush. I don't think I have a brush that's super similar but I think I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush, uh, the smudge brush, and I'm gonna use Love Bug and stamp it under my lower lash line. That's what she said she did with her Tom Ford brush, which wasn't like one of those liner brushes. It looked like it was a little bit more thick. She just stamped that underneath her lash line. And I'm glad y'all cannot see my mouth right now. I don't know why. You know, when, when girls do mascara, sometimes we have our mouth open for whatever reason. I feel like that's helping me do my lower lash line right now. 
Scarab on our refer number 14, again going directly into the crease first. Okay, so she actually took Scarab, which is her lid shade, and she did put that in her crease as well. What brush can I use? I think I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush 203, and I'm going to get a little bit of Scarab. And she said she didn't want a harsh line, so that's why she was putting this in her crease. And for someone like me, ooh, this shade is super pigmented. For someone like me who has hooded eyes, typically when I open my eyes, a lot of what I have on the lid gets covered up. So this is a good way to make sure that can be seen as well, is by just putting a little bit of this in the crease. Okay, so she then goes in with the same shade and it does not look like she wet her brush and she put it all over the lid. So I'm going to take the medium eye shader from Royal and Langnickel. I love using this for my lid shades. And I'm going to first put it on without scared there's going to be fallout without any fix plus but I typically do use fix plus but look how pigmented that is without fix plus oh boy this is super pigmented but I see I am getting some fallout because I don't have fix plus so I'm actually going to use fix plus to help with the fallout so in this case I do now have fix plus but the purpose of it is to help me not get fallout since my whole face is done already. But that shade was beautiful before I sprayed my brush. Okay, let's see where we go from here. I think she's gonna say that we need to use the same shade on the lower lash line. Again, same shade, but now same I'm shade. wet on her refer number three. And I'm applying it right up against my lashes on the lower lash line. Okay, so she does the same shade wet on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeliner brush. I'm going to use, ooh, oops, I definitely touched that too hard. Be, be gentle with that shade. I definitely dipped into it a little bit too hard there. And then I'm going to wet my brush with Fix Plus and press it up against the lash line. All right, that's where we are so far. I think if I'm remembering correctly, that might be all that we do. Let's see. Oh, maybe, what does she put in the inner corner? I, I maybe web? on the lower lash line because I like to have a little bit better control. BK Beauty 206 in the shade Web. Highlight the brow arch. Okay, so then she takes Web and she puts it on her brow bone and in the inner corner. So I'm going to take Web on this random crown brush that I have. I just like it because it has more of a flat tip. Ooh, this shade is pigmented. All right. That will give you a pop. Okay, so she did do this too where she put web and then she went in with that purple shade to kind of blend the two. So here's web. And then my Sigma brush, a little bit of Julby, and just blending together. I'm gonna use my pinky to pop web on the inner corner. She used a brush. I just always use my pinky. And there we have it. So I have to say, Mel did a way better job than I did on this look. I'm going to hop off and finish my eye with some eyeliner and mascara and a lip and we'll see how I feel about it. 
this right here is the finished look. Once you have the lipstick and the mascara, I think it really brings the look together. And I, overall, I think this is an absolutely beautiful look. Mel definitely did a way better job than I did, but I mean, I could have told you that before we got started. But I do like this look. It is definitely way more bold than I'm used to, way more bold than I typically wear, but I really like that lid shade. I think I just need to play around with the with the eyeshadows a little bit more, get comfortable with it, but overall, I like this look. I think it's beautiful. I'm excited about this palette. I'm excited to try some more of these beautiful shades here, create some more looks. I'll probably play around, follow a few more of Mel's tutorials. I know there were some other girls who did a collab. Probably check out some of their videos, but you have some, some really good combinations that you could do in here. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I am going to try to film a three-in-one tutorial and review using this palette, but this was just like my first impression. The first time I used it, wanted to follow one of Mel's videos. I, I absolutely love her videos and I love her tutorials, so I wanted to see if I could recreate one of her looks. So there you have it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button before you go so that you can be notified when I post more videos. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.